Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about TCM diet, also known as the traditional Chinese medicine diet, and ways that Chinese medicine can help you transform your health. And within Chinese medicine, there's something called the five elements. And five elements, uh, this also stems from something called five elements acupuncture. But I'll tell you, by learning these principles, it's gonna help you really know your own body. And I think this is what everybody wants. Everybody wants to know a custom and personalized plan for them. And so I'm gonna teach you in this video what type you might be so you know the exact steps you need to take to heal your body completely using TCM, that's traditional Chinese medicine. And traditional Chinese medicine has been used over 4,000 years. And I believe today it's the most accurate way of diagnosing and treating illness, much more uh, accurate than our conventional medical uh, Western system today. So there are five elements of Chinese medicine that relate to the earth and the way our organ system works, our five organ systems. Let's talk about the first element, that's the wood element in Chinese medicine. That has to do with springtime, also that's related to green foods. If you are struggling with a liver issue or a gallbladder issue to where you don't digest fats properly, or you have any type of liver condition, elevated liver enzymes, or you ever been exposed to toxins, then that means you wanna follow the wood element diet. Now, also people can be wood elements, and that's me, for instance. Uh, wood element people are typically very wiry. They're typically, you can see their veins. Uh, they're typically would look like sometimes rock climbers-ish, but they're, again, they're, they're, they're a little bit more lean and wiry. Think, when you hear the wood element, think tree roots, okay? So think roots and how they're built. That's a wood element. And those people tend to be more susceptible to liver and gallbladder issues and not digesting fats properly. And the emotion they experience is frustration and sometimes anger. So think angry drunk. If you have an angry drunk, what does that affect? It affects their liver and vice versa. If somebody has liver problems, they can burst out in anger. So again, that's the wood element in Chinese medicine. If you are having liver issues or gallbladder issues at all, gallstones, gallbladder removed, any sort of anger, frustration issues, you wanna start nourishing those organs. And this is the big difference in Chinese medicine. In Western medicine today, we try and treat a disease, treat an illness. In Chinese medicine, they look to nourish an organ to help the body heal. And the foods that are most nourishing and healing to the liver and gallbladder are gonna be foods that are sour. So think sauerkraut, uh, also things like a, a green apple, also foods that are slightly bitter. But foods that are mostly sour and slightly bitter are the most nourishing. So again, foods are gonna, and foods that are very green, okay, so wood element, think trees, think green, think grass. So vegetables like fresh salads and spinach, veggie juices, herbs like milk thistle and dandelion. Also, a buplerum is another one in Chinese medicine. And then green apples, but think green foods, fresh foods, living foods. Those are gonna be the best for healing the liver and, and the gallbladder in foods that are sour. The next element in Chinese medicine is gonna be your earth element. And the earth element is gonna be for people that tend to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more round. Uh, sometimes people that tend to be a little more jolly. Um, sometimes they'll get some redness in their cheeks. And uh, the earth element tends to be people that emotionally struggle with worry. And this also, from a seasonal standpoint, has to do with the fall harvest. So if you're a person, and this, people that are the earth element tend to uh, struggle with candida. So if you're a person that you know you're a chronic worrier, if you've ever struggled with candida, the Chinese medicine or TCM diet can help you. And specifically, you wanna do foods that nourish the spleen. So that's connected to the spleen and stomach. Those foods are gonna be warming vegetables that are just mildly sweet, like pumpkin, sweet potato, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, even corn, those foods that are lightly sweet and nourish those organs. Now, on the flip end, obviously you have candida or you're an earth element person, you don't wanna to get too much sweet. So it's all about balance. If you get too much sweet, it totally burns out your spleen and your stomach. Versus lightly sweet, you have a little bit of pumpkin or a little bit of butternut squash, things that just are mildly sweet. Those are nourishing to those organs if you're consuming just one to two servings a day. So a person that's uh, that type of body type, you wanna do, let's say a diet that's high in things like bone broth and organic meat and also some good starchy vegetables. So think as a meal, shepherd's pie. That's a great example of a diet that an earth element person would benefit from. The number three element we're gonna focus on now is the metal element. 
And the metal element are typically people that have big, strong, bold features. If you think of a, a big muscular linebacker, uh, somebody that's sort of chiseled and built like stone, that's a metal element in Chinese medicine. That's their typical build. And those people tend to struggle emotionally with, with grief and sadness, sometimes depression. Those would be those negative emotions they experience uh, that can affect specifically the lung and the colons. And the metal element has to do with your immune system. System. If you've ever struggled with any type of immune system issue or immune weakness, you want to consume foods that support uh, whether that's autoimmune disease or food sensitivities or food allergies. Any of those issues are signs that you should be really supporting that immune system. So white foods really support the immune system and the lungs. So think horseradish, think potato, white potatoes, think garlic and onions and cauliflower uh, all of those foods are very nourishing to a metal element. So again, getting a lot of those immune foods like garlic and onions, um, cauliflower, those things are very nourishing. And then also probiotic rich foods like yogurt and kefir are great for those. And raw cheeses, like a raw sheep's cheese, those are really nourishing to the metal element. The number four element we've got to take care of is going to be your water element. And the water element is really related to the health of your kidneys and your adrenal glands, which can sometimes even go and affect the thyroid. But the adrenal glands and kidneys specifically, so if you ever struggle with any type of infection, infection, any type of fatigue or low energy levels or adrenal fatigue issues or chronic fatigue, those are warning signs that you need to nourish those organs. Also, any hormone imbalance. If you're a person that struggles with uh, early menopause or PCOS or any hormonal issue, you want to follow those and support the water element in Chinese medicine. And the water element tends to struggle with fear uh, and they, 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 they become fearful. And if you think about this, that's tied to an organ. If you get extremely fearful, people can actually urinate themselves because that affects the kidneys. Well, think about doing that in a light way day after day. You lightly affect the kidneys and the adrenal glands. You wear those organs out in that way. So the way you want to support those organs is doing dark colored, nutrient dense foods. Think berries like blueberries and blackberries cranberries, also think beets and spinach and seaweed, very dark antioxidant rich foods. And the fifth element in Chinese medicine is the fire element. And that emotion tends to be somebody that's very fiery or passionate, think the summer months. The best foods for that are spicy foods. And that's gonna be things like cayenne pepper. It's gonna be Mexican food. It's gonna be corn tortillas. It's gonna be hot sauce. Uh, so again, foods that are very warming and hot to the body, those are gonna be the best. Salsa, uh, even guacamole, those things are great for a fire element. And that's typically a fire element is acid reflux. If you have acid reflux or a heart issue, such as high cholesterol or high blood pressure or circulatory issues, you're going to want to follow the Chinese medicine tips and diet to help heal the fire element. And so guys, I could go on and on and on about this. If you want to learn more about Chinese medicine, visit my website, draxe.com. That's D-R-A-X-E.com. Or just search Dr. Axe Chinese medicine or Dr. Axe TCM diet, but I'm telling you, Chinese medicine is incredible. It's rich. It's one of the top things you can follow to heal your body naturally. So if you want to learn more, again, visit my website, subscribe here to the YouTube channel. I've hoped you've enjoyed this video on the TCM diet, also known as the traditional Chinese medicine diet.